you know what, it can't get any better than this. So in one of his first moves in office, uh, President Joe Biden directed the Department of Education uh, on Wednesday uh, to extend the payment pause for federal student loan borrowers uh, not until October 2021. Now, this is a continuation of a relief that's been in place since the CARES Act, which uh, was passed during uh, the pandemic back in March, uh, giving uh, 42 million student loan borrowers a break from uh, making their monthly payment and uh, accruing interest during uh, the pandemic. Now, this means that you don't have to make your monthly payments throughout at least September 2021 and uh, any interest which is uh, accrued during uh, this suspension will also be waived. Uh, it is also uh, worth taking advantage of uh, this 0% uh, interest period if you are juggling between uh, other dates. Now, if you can afford your uh, basics, you can use the extra money to pay down outstanding balances on high interest debt. So you want to prioritize other debts like uh, your credit card uh, debt, uh, your car loans and uh, even your mortgage. Now, because credit cards charge double digit interest rates, carrying a balance becomes expensive and, uh, and fast. Most card issuers compound uh, interest on a daily basis, so interest is added to your balance at the end of uh, each day. The typically monthly student loan payment uh, ranges between uh, 200 and uh, $300 according to the Federal Reserve. Now, during this uh, forbearance, is how they pronounce it, you know, English is not my first language. But uh, during this uh, forbearance period, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So anyway, during this forbearance period, uh, you can use that extra 200 or, um, or so each month to make a, a dent in your credit card balance. Now, given the addition eight months of our relief uh, through September 2021, now that frees up anywhere from $1,600 to nearly $2,400, depending on uh, your monthly federal student loan payments. And that can go towards other debt. But what does this mean for those of you uh, who still have your finances together? What do I mean? Meaning that you still have your job and you don't have any high interest debt and you do have an emergency fund in place. Maybe you should continue to make your student loan payments. Because with the interest rate uh, set at zero for the duration of uh, the payment pause and interest waiver, any payments that you make on uh, eligible federal student loans will go entirely on uh, chipping away at that principal balance. Remember, with the interest in place, uh, some of your payments are going to go to your interest and some other payments is going to go uh, towards your uh, principal. But because now the interest rate is at zero, you take advantage. Uh, if you pay $200 or pay $300, whatever you pay each month, it goes directly towards the principal. That's the money that you borrowed. And this is going to help with paying off the debt even faster. Even if you carry a sizable balance that can't be easily paid off in the next eight months, use this time to get ahead and see your monthly payments go further. Now, zero interest on a federal loan is the lowest interest rate you'll ever get. Let's be honest. Now, the bottom line is, if you're still financially struggling from uh, the economic fallout uh, of the pandemic, use these next eight months to take care of uh, higher priority bills or your more expensive debt. And uh, if you don't have an emergency fund, take care of that. And remember, because federal student loans have been paused or extended for eight months, nothing can be certain uh, beyond September 30th. Payment will resume at some point, whether you like it or not. Uh, most likely, it's going to be October 1st, 2021. Now, for those of you who want to achieve your financial freedom uh, soon uh, rather than later, this is the time to be even more aggressive on paying down this debt. So that uh, by time payment resume in October, you have already put a dent in this um, loan that you borrowed. Now, however, there are those of us who look at this as an opportunity to spend even more. Uh, to take that vacation that you've always wanted. Going back to having priorities. Because I've had a lot of people saying there is no point of paying down on these student loans since they've been paused. Remember the payments have only been paused, not forgiven. You still have to pay this money. It's like putting off something now, but you know no matter what, you have to do it at some point. And I think it's called uh, procrastinating. Instead of waiting, 
or uh, pausing your payments when you can take advantage of zero interest, like I said, you still have to pay this money at some point. Even if you hold it off until next year, you still have to pay it. So why not take care of advantage right now with zero interest? Where your money will go straight to your principal. And by the time you resume the payments, you already put a dent into your uh, principal that you borrowed. I mean, it's common sense, but uh, one thing I've realized in my uh, years of living, common sense is not common for everyone.